What is up guys? I am James and as you can see I'm here at Barbarian Assault and as you can also see I have this sexy little fighter torso. You can see my abs, my pecs. I'm ripped as fuck. I lift not IRL but uh I lift and okay. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I've decided since I promised uh a defender video uh or a defender guide video I figured I'd go ahead and make that now since Barbarian Assault's already out and it's been out for a bit. And that way you guys can get your torsos a little bit easier because every other rule is pretty straightforward, fairly easy. Except for the Defender rule which everyone seems to have a bit of trouble with. And so in doing so I'm going to show uh, two different waves. I'm going to show wave 1 and wave 6. And essentially the uh, the method is the same for each wave. You just need more uh, logs to repair your traps. And before anything, there's a huge misconception that using the cannon in Barbarian Assault loses you points. It does not lose you points, okay? If you're, if you're at the point where there are eggs in the cannon and you're able to fire them, and you still have uh, runners out there that you need to kill, by all means use the cannon. I do it all the time. It definitely saves a lot of time. Makes the defender roll just that much easier for you. And the worst part about defender in 07 is that you can't stack the runners, meaning you need you have to kill them each one by one, meaning you need food for each one. But anyways, enough of the uh, intro, introduction type stuff. I'm going to get into the first wave and show you exactly what I do. And then I'm going to get into the second wave and then again show you exactly what I do. So here we go. So when you first start out the wave, you're obviously going to want to collect your food, all the food you can. And then um, you're going to obviously want to call the entire time. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run up north and you're going to want to go between the two cannons. And you're going to start, you're going to go um, east and drop a bunch of random food. Now it doesn't matter which food you drop. I just run east, spam click food. And then you're going to want to go northwest. Yeah, northwest. And do the exact same thing. Spam click random food. And then since it's wave one, you don't need logs. But when you do need logs at wave two even, you're going to, it depends. Like um, eventually the max you'll need is like four on wave nine. Wave 9 is the only one you need 4, the other ones you'll need 3. But uh, the reason why you're going to want to drop random food in the area is that it, um, it, the runners are attracted to any food no matter what. It's just you have to have the right food by the trap in order for them to get killed. So you're gonna, since you're dropping random food, all the runners are going to be concentrated in that area. And so that gives you time to not only grab your logs, hammers and all that, but it also gives you time to get to the trap and set more. And then they're all going to, no matter if you kill one, they're all going to be in the same area still. And that's pretty much how I do my defender roll. Alright, and so here we are with wave 6. Again, collect your food. Um, collect all your food, do your calls, and all that. And then again, the same exact method as wave 1. You're going to run north between the two cannons. And then drop a bunch of random food when you go east. It's the exact same tactic for every wave. And then you go to your northwest, drop random food. That way they all get concentrated. Now since this is wave 6, you're going to need your hammer and logs. So uh, I think for wave 6 you only need 2 logs, but I always grab 3 just in case. Because uh, I, I it's been a while since I've done Barbarian Assault. I used to have them memorized and all that, but I'm not exactly sure. So by wave 6 you're going to want to collect 3, and then uh, eventually on wave 4, obviously you collect, or on wave 9 you collect 4. But uh, as you can see it's the exact same tactic. Now every once in a while you're going to have those runners that go um, that go south a little bit from the trap and then all you got to do to get them back is just run south along with them and drop your random food again, the exact same uh, deal. And then if you run out of food, you're going to obviously have to go collect more. And so think of, this is the good thing about you having all of your runners concentrated in the same area because it gives you time to go run and grab more food and they're still going to be all in that area. And so, um, again, another thing that will help you tremendously is if your collector gets eggs in the cannon, again, before all of your defenders are, or your runners are killed, utilize the cannon as much as you can. You don't lose points, and it actually makes the wave that much smoother if you still have your runners out there. But uh, that's pretty much uh, all I got for this defender guide. Obviously, um, you, can just, you could really just look at my screen and see how I do it. And it, you'll you'll get the hang of it. Obviously, it's one of those things that takes a lot of practice. And as always, practice makes perfect. You know, the old sayings, whatever. But 
yeah, like I said, that's uh, that's pretty much my defender guide. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And um, if I if I browse through my comments and someone has a question, and I'll more than likely answer it. And so, uh, yeah, that's my guide. And I hope this uh, guide helps some of you guys out. And uh, thanks for watching.